Hello everybody, this is Mr. Davidson here, and welcome back to another tutorial. So, in this tutorial, as you can see up there, and there, we're going to actually be doing the dialogue text. If you don't know what dialogue text is, basically the same text as in like Pokemon and Undertale. I mean, in my other uh, video, which is like scrolling text or something, I did try to do it, like, uh, I did try to make it look easy, but this time, if you want to use something like, um, if, if you want to, um, basically, um, give your name to the game, and if the game wants to, wants to use that name, you're gonna have to do this thing. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but what I'm trying to say is, we're actually gonna try and well, I'm gonna try and teach you how to do the actual dialogue text thing. So this is what I have at the moment. So yep, that happens. Then when I press enter, that happens. That happens. And then that happens. So um basically I'm gonna try and show you how I did this. So we are now opening up uh, the starter file. So these files will be in the description. Um, most likely the uh, starter file, but also the finished file as well, s to see if like you can do anything to change what you've done and stuff. But as you can see, there's nothing here. So basically, um, we just have text here. I don't know why this is even in the frame. Actually, no, let's just keep that in the frame. So as you can see, this is my game here. And I've actually got um four paragraphs, uh, excluding that one right there. But yeah, but I've basically okay. I've got five paragraphs. Let's just say I've got five paragraphs, and uh, this is just something else. So right, let's just go to the event editor. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna do start of frame, and then um go to dialogue on the dialogue um go to change alterable string and just press enter because what that does is it set it sets the string to nothing and as you can see there is no text there anymore basically it's blank text so now what you're going to do is you're going to do timer every five milliseconds now this part is the most confusing part like ever and I don't even know how to explain it but um, there is a uh, PDF thing that I found on uh, the click team site which does explain to you what these things mean Basically, I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. So every uh, five milliseconds, under dialogue, um, we're we're going to change all terrible string again. But now, let uh, click on left um, string here, and as you can see, all this stuff appears. Uh, don't worry about th don't worry about uh, this part at the moment. Let's just worry about this part. So enter string here. So the string that we're going to enter in here is temp dialog and then I click on all terrible string as you can see there <coughs> and now uh, highlight enter number of characters <coughs> don't click on delete just yet well don't click on delete at all but what you need to do now is <coughs> go to dialog down here no 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 Actually, go to len right there. Len. If if no one knows what len means, it's it's short for length. That's what it means. People may think that it's like an acronym for something that it means something, but no, it means length. So let's click on length, and now it says len. Enter string here. Now all we have to do is go to dialog down here, and then click on all terrible string. Now this will um, pop up. Now, um, if I click on OK, 
Um, I'll show you what happens. Nothing happens. But, if I go back into it, and edit it, and then, um, okay, let me just help you with this. So, let's just, uh, just keep on clicking the right arrow, or count how many, uh, ro like, count, count how many presses of the right arrow, arrow you do. So, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, Damn, I'm, I'm, I messed that up. Hold on a minute. I counted 60, um, 60 spots, and look at where I am right now. So basically, uh, I'm like right here. If you can see, I don't, I don't know if you can see that, but if you can see like a black line, um, like flickering like there. If your um black line uh text edit thingy, whatever you call it, is not there, then make sure that it is in that exact place, um, what's that if I, ah, okay, that makes it easier, so, right there, can you see it right there, yeah, if it's not in that exact place, then put it there, and then all you have to do is, um, do shift, and then plus one, hold on, I put it in the wrong place, So you had to act, so from the left to the right, you had to count as uh, 62 spots, not 60, 62 spots. And where my um uh text edit thing is, make sure that is there, and then do plus one, and then there we go. And now what that will do is na 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 na, it it does that. Now, um, if you want to, um, I mean, this is just only one piece of text, and it will just do that, but, um, since, uh, I've got, like, all these other paragraph text things, what you need to do is, um, what you need to do is, uh, as you can see, I have a counter right here, and what you need to do is, um, I just said that like three times, or did I? I can't remember. But, um, go to, um, the mouse pointer and keyboard, keyboard, uh, upon pressing the key, enter. Uh, when, um, enter is pressed, um, uh, add one, two, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you that this counter is called dialogue text. Add one to dialogue text. There we go. And now, if dialogue text is equal to one, and also, also make sure you have only one action when event loops, because uh, let me just uh, put the uh, put like everything else in. So, um, so when um. When dialog text equals one with only one action when event loops, um, change alterable string of dialog to um, blank again. But this time, <coughs> what you need to do is under temp dialog, you need to actually change alterable string to uh, temp dialog text of paragraph. And. Um, Wait, uh, current number of, would that work? Hmm, let's just try that. So, there we go. Ah, yeah, that also works as well. Right, okay. So, um, right. So, so as you can see, um, this is my game, and then when I press enter, it changes to I created this game. So, what I did was, under dialogue, I set alterable string back to blank, and then under 
temp dialog, I set the alterable string to the current, wait, what did you say? Um, to current, to, to the text of the paragraph, basically, whatever the text inside of the paragraph is, I changed it to that, and whatever paragraph number it is, I changed it to that. That's basically what I did, and it came out with that. Now, if you want to keep on doing that, then all you have to do is um, just do, like, I say three of them, and then make that two, and then three, and then let's just see what that does. Hold on a minute. So this is my game. I created this game. Right, okay. We're going to have to sort something out here. Alright, okay, so I figured it out. So what I was uh, doing wrong was I, ac I actually had to put the uh, number of the paragraph that I was on. So basically... Um, or maybe, hold on a minute, maybe if I put that to current value. Hmm, maybe that will work. Let's just try that. Aha! There we go. And then four. There we go. Okay, so basically what I did was, um, so you know about that part, the set all terrible string to left string, you don't need to know, like, all about that stuff, but you just need to know how to lay it out, and, yeah, and, um, upon pressing enter, add one to dialog text, when dialog text is equal to one, then, um, set all terrible string to, um, the text of the paragraph being displayed and which paragraph it is basically um, the value of uh, te uh, dialog text and just keep on doing that for every single um, counter oh yeah I forgot to show you what happens if you um, have no only one actual when event loops so let me just show you so as you can see that happens and then enter yeah, that happens, so nothing comes up. So you have to have one, only one action when event loops. So, yeah, uh, I am going to save this and put it in the description below, but that's how you do dialogue text. Now, um, in the future, I may actually start doing a, um, a RPG tutorial series, but the only problem is... I don't know how to make really really good graphics so I'm gonna probably have to do like made up graphics or something so I I have no idea so thanks for watching and if this helped you all then leave a like and maybe even a subscribe this if this helps you and if you would like to if you would like me to give you another tutorial or if you have another tutorial that you want me to show you how to do on click team then please do leave it down in the description below but if wait description i'm in comments but if it is a um a request in which i am not able to do then <coughs> i will let you know but yeah hope this will help you and uh, subscribe for more tutorials and leave a like if you enjoyed this one or if this helped and see you later.